Yo, what's up? How's it going? Yesterday, I was just scrolling down to Facebook, right? And I saw this post. At first glance, to be honest, I found it kind of sus. It's a grown man shaming a guy for saying nas a nasty sentence in the internet. But at first, I didn't mind it. I just chalked it up to a kid being stupid and saying some stupid shit. Then a grown man being immature and shaming the kid for saying some stupid shit. So the post basically said, do we wish death on people we disagree with? And it was a picture of a kid saying the no-no word. In Filipino, kailan ka pa mamamatay? And if I translate it into English, it says, when will you die? You know, I agree with the point with this initial message. Wishing death on someone is never, ever, ever a good thing. But an exception would be that one guy who bought the last stock of bacon at the supermarket Listen here, you little fucking shit. If you're watching, if you're watching this fucking video, I saw that bacon first, and you just took it. You just took it right in front of my eyes. I would request you to fucking please give it back. I need it, please. I get. I'm I'm begging you right now, or else you're you're just. I swear to God, you're gonna regret it. Um, apparently the guy apologized to Mr. Poon. I scoured the post as I initially saw it. Um, and in that post, in that post, exactly, he screenshotted the guy, um, apologizing to him in the DM. He apologized. He admitted to his mistake. To translate what he said, Sir, I'm sorry. Sir, I hope you accept my apology. Please edit and hide my name if you don't want to delete the post. My family is getting wind of it. And I regret what I said. I'm sorry. Basing on what the guy said to Mr. Poon, he seemed kind of genuine in his apology. He did not make any excuses for what he did and just said sorry. And he requested to, to hide and edit out his name. So you might be asking now, Oh, he apologized, so he hid the kid's name now, didn't he? No. The story should have ended there, right? A kid being shamed, apologized, they still got shamed, it's bad, and I think Mr. Poon should consider the kid's request, but it's not that big of a deal, right? It'll just fly over in the next month, everybody, next week, next month, and everybody will forget about him. He docks the guy! So before I get into the nitty details, let me tell you the definition of a dox. Doxing someone, sometimes written as doxing, is the act of revealing Ident identifying information about someone online, such as their real name, home address, workplace, phone, financial, and other personal information. That information is then circulated to the public without the victim's information. Sounds kind of familiar. So based on his own post, apparently the guy is a grade 10 high schooler. I'm covering up the details because I don't think it's necessarily relevant to the topic, but Mr. Poon right here released where the where the kid goes to school and where his city are. Now, this information might be available to his online profile, but as far as I'm concerned, where you go to school is a private information. And releasing that info to 400,000 followers is kind of sus, buddy. <laughs> People could find out where he lived just from knowing where he goes to school at. Now this comment said that this kid was a bully at school which I'm taking with a grain of salt since there's only one person who said this and I don't think that's a pretty credible information. I don't know the kid personally, I've never talked to him, but even if he is, I don't think putting out his private information to the public is necessary. You could go there yourself and contact the school yourself without getting thousands of people involved. I don't know Mr. Poon, this action seems kind of bullying. But you know, I'm not saying you are a bully, I'm just saying you're sus. By this point, I'm just trying to figure out that what's the intent of him releasing this information to thousands of people who's already grilling the kid. You, you can actually argue that you had good intention when you release this private information out into the public. Because this information can lead to a harassment and potentially getting the kid in trouble for disagreeing with you on Facebook. And plus, he could get in trouble for disagreeing with you about the queen herself, the WAP maker, the wet ass
You're gonna get in trouble for Cardi B. His opinions are Cardi B on Facebook. <laughs> this is just fucking stupid. But oh boy, I thought getting the kid in trouble at school was the worst case scenario. I didn't know Mr. Lawsuit Legal Action would swoop down and beat my expectation up in its ass. Yeah, he's gonna try and sue the kid into legal trouble. That's not even a joke. Can I kindly ask if anyone here is from the kid's place to progress with filing legal case against John Blank? We will eventually need two affidavits as witness to be filed in the city of Kindly let me know. Love, Boomer Grandpa Poon. <laughs> oh boy, he's treating this like a murder case. He needs a witness. <laughs> Maybe John murdered his fucking pussy ass. He's literally gonna try and fight a kid in court. A kid who don't know any better. A kid who's still in high school and a stupid kid at that. I don't know if I have the right to call this kid a kid because he's just one year below me. But still, a lot... Can change within a year. So now I'm just discussing what Mr. Poon is doing. So I posted and commented on his post telling him that what he was doing was wrong and kind of sus. I gave him the definition of doxing. I gave him an argument why I think that what he's doing is not right, no matter the instances may be. I cited my sources and with this comment and post, he changed his mind. He said sorry to the guy, deleted the post, and went to our merry way promising that he will never, ever dox and shame a kid anymore. Psych! He threatened to sue me! He threatened to sue me. That's not even a joke. You shouldn't wish death to those people who disagree with you. Also, Mr. Poon, did you just disagree with me, you punk? I'ma sue you, bitch ass! Bruh. It just baffles me how, how someone could be so out of touch with reality that he would threaten to sue to file a legal action on people who questions his actions and or beliefs. His ego is preventing him to humble down and just admit he's done something wrong to a kid. Mr. Poon is so into himself that he probably fingers his butthole while threatening people legal action. I don't know if that's real. So that's just a joke. Mr. Poon, don't call up your lawyers and, uh, and punch me in the ass in my, in my own home. Please, I, I'm begging you. I'm fucking broke, my dude. This whole situation is just stupid at this point, to be honest. The kid was in the wrong for saying such stupid things, and Mr. Poon is in the wrong for escalating it. Compared to Mr. Poon, this kid is just a commoner. A nobody. He doesn't have enough money to waste on lawyers. He doesn't have millions to sue every people he disagrees with. And seeing you a big figure who with a who's with a huge following threatening to sue while doxing a kid is just petty. It's like those street fights where kids just do the dumbest shit to feel superior. For Christ's sake, you're an old man. Essentially bullying a kid using your big platform. I don't know how petty that could even get. After he threatened to sue me. I called him out for essentially keeping the post when the kid has already apologized. Well, his response after this just confirms how out of touch on reality he really is. Um, oh, Blue Buddha, wrong. In your woke world, saying sorry is after being confronted is enough. Woke world? Oh, I'm, I didn't know I was fucking woke, mister. I didn't know I was fucking woke. I'm... <laughs> maybe I may, may, maybe I ha I have the answers to all of the questions in the universe because I'm so fucking woke. I have a third eye now. Wow. Oh wee. Let me educate you. That is not true in the real world. Um, I don't know what what planet he lives, but I'm pretty sure you live in Earth, Mister Poon. And I'm pretty sure in Earth, saying sorry and apologizing is enough. Are you living in your own world? In your own world where people can't say sorry without you suing them and filing a legal action? In, he said, in our world, we can forgive you, but we will file a case so they know real hard consequences of their ill action to never try doing it again. Oh, fucking hell, my dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, crap. Mate. What, what world are you living in, my dude? I don't think filing a legal action is... I don't think filing a legal action is a sign of forgiveness, Mr. Poon. I don't know what world you're living in, but that's fucking stupid, my dude. Um, only people who are devoid of true accountability will like your beliefs on sorry. 
So he's saying that people who say sorry are devoid of accountabilities and I don't know what's more accountable than saying than humbling down and saying sorry to someone you are did to. Mr. Poon Your your ego is so fucking high. Please please burst your bubble. Just because you're fucking rich doesn't mean that everything will go out will go your way. In the real world that's not how it goes. Woo! You should be compassionate and understand people. That's that's the that's the most important thing you should do. And since you're an old man, you should know that, right? You live longer than other people. He also said that um filing filing legal actions is like a form of disciplining in his post, but I don't feel like. A legal case against someone is considered as disciplining. It just shows how insecure you are against people questioning you. I'm not defending the kid's actions where he said those horrible things. I'm just defending him because he's getting attacked by someone who has a large following. It's bad when you wish death against people, yet it doesn't warrant someone to dox and sue you for those words. Especially since he's a kid in high school who's probably just trying to be edgy. You know, it's the internet. They feel secure here, but I don't think by those words you can just sue someone. I think he already learned his lesson. He said sorry to you, didn't he? He posted a post in the explaining why he said those things. Why? What's his view against? What's his view on Cardi B and stuff? Yet on that post, he didn't. He still admitted that what he did and what he said was wrong and yet here you are trying to shame that kid for admitting that he was wrong and essentially suing him and me too i feel like i've said what i already wanted to say if i want to say more i just update you on the comment section but i would like to hit on the last note before i go how can kids learn if the people themselves that says kids needs to learn needs to be taught as well the hypocrisy that these people will go to just just to feel superior is just unbelievable at this point. I get calling our generations weak. I agree with that completely. Our, gener our generation is fucking weak. We're Some of us are fucking snowflakes. But going out your way to attack stupid kids just makes you stupid yourself. You too is showing that you are weak against people who oppose you. You too is showing that you yourself is a snowflake. When you preach to kids on how to act, at least act it out yourself. You can't make people learn by attacking them. You can't make people learn if you yourself don't learn with them. Just because you've lived longer doesn't mean you won't learn anything from the younger generations. So as a conclusion, Mr. Poon, please change, delete your post, apologize, and change as a person. That's all. That's all I ask. If you delete said post, then I won't delete everything that I have against you. Because my goal is to just educate people, not cancel them. Thank you, and goodbye.